idea of being being yeah. out of the studio. I mean, yeah. we did a live studio, a, a live uh, shoot at our house. Remember yes. that summer? Yes. And that was it. After that, we didn't, you know. At the studio? We, no, we, we haven't didn't. been here in over a year. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, a lot it's of good things, to be back. A lot of things are happening, and now it's springtime, you know? Mm -hmm. It's spring, and uh, things are getting better. Spring and, is uh, in the air. We got a great <laughs> guest tonight, though. We got Pete Dimofetta. Yeah. Is yep. that right? Yep. And we got uh, Miranda Panda, my co-host. Yeah. Miranda. Hi. And we can't, we, the reason why we only got three people tonight is because that's all you could have in the studio. Mm -hmm. But we figured we'd do a show and, um, you know, we feature um, P here tonight because he's got a lot of stories about SNL. Plus we got Rollins and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And Miranda is in a, um, a magazine. Oh, well, she's not in it yet, but she, well, she was in, well, you were in really great magazine. You yes, yes. Magazine. I was in a few magazines, but um, this yeah. one is a contest for Maxim. Um, I'm in the running. I've made it to the second round. Uh, the, thir the third round starts tonight. I think I'm probably going to be in the third round, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But we're slowly, like, getting to, um, to who's going to win. You know, so we'll see. Hopefully that'll work out. And um, I was telling you before yeah. that I did a movie in Coney Island called Duke of New York. Um, and I also did a music video with this rapper named HD. He's a he's a friend of mine now. He's nice. He's a really nice guy. He's got some really good songs. So go check him out, too. Because um, you were telling me that you have a Coney Island song. Yeah, Coney Island song. So Don't hopefully... let the summer go by. Go, go the island, <laughs> Don't let the summer, right. Don't That's let right. the summer go by. That is great. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll, yeah, we're going to rock it in the studio. We're going to go in in a couple of weeks, maybe in a week. Nice. we got to get it before awesome. the summer comes, because then if it goes by, we're in trouble. Then you did let the summer go by. <laughs> then we let the whole thing go by. <laughs> Everything, you know, see, that's the whole thing. That's what I love about uh, live entertainment, mm -hmm. is that it happens, you know, you do it in time. You do it. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Yeah. You know, there's no practice. If you if yeah. you gotta practice now, you might as well give up and jump into a lake somewhere. Oh wow. No, 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 But uh yeah, it's tough. No, I know, I know what you mean. But you know what I want you know what I actually Miranda before we get to Pete? Yeah. So I wanted to talk to him about a lot of crazy stuff that he yeah. did. And I said, oh, um what is what are some of the things in the magazine that they go by? Like like what it, what are they, what are they looking for in, in you know, as far as how many hits you get? In the that, contest? Yeah, it's it's based on voting as of right now. We'll see what they do later in like the next round or the round after. But the first few rounds are, are based on like voting, so you know, it's kind of like a viewer's choice thing in a way. Um and then yeah, it's, it's kind of more of like a sexier magazine, not like nudity or anything, but it's, it's um, yeah, it's just like a, kind of like stylish, sexy type of magazine, so no, we'll see what happens. If you guys can go vote for me, if you see yeah. this, and you know, like, like you know, I'll... Well, everybody on Twitter knows Facebook. you know, Miranda, they gotta vote for you. <laughs> but is there any place else <laughs> oh, they could go and vote, like some people that are not on <laughs> Facebook, is there any other... Way yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sure. Um, cause I a lot of people told me YouTube? that they link not it. Not YouTube, right? No, they they a lot of people told me they link it to your Facebook to make sure that people aren't voting more than once a day. You can donate to vote. Um, your <clears throat> so the money that you're donating goes to also it goes to a good cause, which is Wounded Warriors. So like they help veterans. I think it's veterans. Um help them build like homes and, and find housing and stuff like that so it the money is going to a good cause but it'll also like go to um getting me more votes too but yeah i'm trying to do a bunch of stuff right now and you know we're doing yeah. this show we've got the other movie we're doing well it's good but you have movie you have God, a couple of things so. on facebook where you're doing some like comedy things now you get into comedy yeah though. i've been doing a little like uh little social media yeah. skits wow. um little little skits on like tiktok instagram uh, things like that. Oh, I also do a podcast every Saturday night called The Green Room. Um, wow. That's been going really well, too, and I've been posting uh, videos every week for that, like promotional videos. So that's probably what you've seen also. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to do a bunch of stuff. 
Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a, a couple of them. There, there was one that really was really funny, you know? Yeah, I gotta make Not all of them are, you know, going to be, you know, you got to try. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what comedy's all about, trying. Yeah, I gotta Everybody make thinks a you're going to be this week. So. Yeah, everybody thinks you're going to be funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Really beautiful. But um, what? Oh, and you did the the thing with Billy Idol, right? Yeah, Billy Idol. The drummer what got stuck. About? Well, the drummer got this stuck is, in um, in um, California, and he was taking the red eye, but he couldn't make it for the show. So Laura Michaels. Uh, they told people that I played drums. I, I was a mediocre drum player. <laughs> Freddie's a hundred times better than me. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you pulled it off. I pulled it off. Yeah. I was scared stiff. We did it. We taped it. We ran it. Because a lot of saying that live, people don't realize, it's not live. About, I'd say, half hours live, and the rest is all uh, done at rehearsals. And oh, really? Put in. Yeah, because there's too many quick set changes, and there's too That's many true. wardrobes. So you have to space it out and do it. In, in the beginning, it was more live. Now it's pretty much, uh, you know, added in. And, you know, because they have a time slot. They're going live. There is an eight-second delay. Mm -hmm. I've seen many, like, I mean, I, I, once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll go on, um, but nothing attracts me to that show anymore, you know? No, well, it's all different now. It's all po po politics and stuff. Back in the day, mm -hmm. they just Well, actually, uh, yeah, sure. Fred Armisen is, was one of the funniest. He came on our show. Right, I remember seeing it. Yeah, he's, he's you, not on there anymore. Were you on the show? You weren't on the no, show. No, not that. Then. That was before I came on here, unfortunately, because right. I would love to meet him, but yeah. um, he's not on there anymore, though, no? No, I don't see him on that. You know, but it, he had a, he has his own. He had another show that he did. Right. Like show, uh, uh, I'm convinced yeah. that Laura Michaels could take anybody and make a star out of them because he's made stars out of everybody. I mean, it's amazing. It's so talented. And we were, we thought that show was going to last maybe a year. I mean, we were like, oh, this is going to go off the air. Now it's over forty something years. We're going on yeah, fifty it's years. A long time. It's amazing. Well, like you said, they changed they changed the way they the form. Yeah, well, they're not as wide wide, right? I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they don't let the actors do more than they. I'm know. sorry to say, sometimes I watch it and I end up turning it off after the monologue. Like, uh, and maybe I'll go back a little for yeah. the musical guest, but uh, uh, you know, nowadays it's not what it was back in the yeah. day in the seventies. In the 80s, it was. Yeah, and then people would in the bars would go home to watch it. The bars would empty out at 11:30 at night, so mm. people would go home and watch it. Yeah, they're, they're not breathing off of uh, reality that's really happening in the world today. You know, that's right. You know, well they are, but they're doing it in politics and all that, and it gets boring after a while. Yeah, it's starting to turn a little bit. I mean, they've been doing before they were beating. Yeah, the heck out of the Republicans. Now they're beating the heck out of the Democrats. Yeah. Anything funny? Yeah, but I'm not even talking for that reason. I'm just saying, that after a while, no matter what subject you're on, yeah. if you stay on that same subject, it gets boring, no matter what you do. Of course. You know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you watch a shark movie, he keeps eating the same stuff. How bad am I? That's true, though. <laughs> you know? It's like, after a while, yeah, like, you're no right. one's going to happen. <laughs> it's just like when you can be like a lot of comedians. I don't mind that they curse once in a while, but when they use it to try to be funny, it's not funny. Yeah, that's the only thing you have. If you use it in the context of what you taught your subject, yeah. and then you're hitting that off with a kick at Dennis, you know. Yeah, and you know he did that good, and he was on our show. He now he's becoming big. Um, Fred Rubino. Oh yeah, Rubino. Fred Rubino. Yeah, I see him live. Anybody out there? That wants to see a, a funny, funny comedian that's yeah, been funny. on a, been on the Staten Island Comedy Show. You got to come. We got to mention him because oh, Nevin yeah, Nevin. was the original uh, comedy uh, yeah. show. I still Staten do co-hosting for Nevin, but we're virtual right now. Nevin. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I like when Fred was on the show. did virtual. that commercial for the eyeglass place. It's hysterical. I mean, yeah, that was great. That yeah. Was, yeah. You know, he had lives off it. Now we're, we're getting close to. We have a movie that. Uh, oh, well, I'm. I'm helping, uh, you know, produce and stuff, and Miranda's yeah. going to hopefully be in it, and uh, yeah. maybe even your godson, my, 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 yeah, my nephew, Frank James. Godson. That oh, well, we got the we got the uh, Yankee song talking about Frank James, the Yankee song that I did. I'm going to show it in a minute. Just hold off for a sec, but yeah. So I mean, that's that's what it is about comedy. You know, it should be more, it should be more natural, like you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? I mean, I give them credit for Pat guys. Cooper, right? He was a, another one. Pat Cooper was on the show. Yes. We had we had stars on, on you know, we had stars on the show. Even though we got a lot, we, we kid around because we said with the Bottom Feeder movie. Yeah, uh, Bottom Feeders. 
the bottom feeders, you know, we call ourselves bottom feeders because, you know, we're at the bottom and they're, they're making money at the top. Yeah. But there's a lot of talent that comes to CTV, you know? Yes. Yeah, I bring, a, I bring uh, myself, I bring, I had the bottom feet of rock star, he yeah. had great talent. He was with um, the guy that promoted the Beatles. Yeah. Beatles. He said, what do you, re when he, you know, he'd tell him all the time, he'd say, uh, yeah. Danny, are you ready yet? He'd go to his office and he'd tell him, no, I'm not ready yet. I said, what are you going to, I said, then, right before he died, listen to this, yeah. you want to hear the story. I'm jamming with, I'm now I'm jamming with the bottom feet of rock star all over the, you know, Jersey, you know, we played at uh, Stone Pony, the Wonder Bar out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, those are two legendary places, right? So, one day we've got a meeting to go and see Pete, uh, I forgot his last name, but his name was Pete. Go see Pete, and he's, he was the one that brought the Beatles to New York mm -hmm. and promoted them. So... We go to his office and he goes, are you ready now? Daddy, I said, Daddy, if you tell him you're not ready, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> right? I'm going to kill you. Do I know this, I'm going to kill you. This is, the, not, this is real, you know, this is, story, this is a couple of stories about my life. But anyway, so he looks at me and I says, are you ready yet? He goes, oh yeah, we're ready. I says, okay, we're ready. So sure enough, we, we're getting ready to plan out, you know, different ventures that we're going to do with the yeah. music and he was going to promote us and everything. Yeah. About a month later, he died. Oh. Dead. Terrible. But <laughs> it just goes to show you, if you're not ready now, if somebody Why says you're you, ready? No, but I'm saying, timing is everything. Yeah. No, but if you, if somebody comes up to you and you're in the bit like we're in the world of the business, you're doing the mind, I do the music, I do everything. But, and Pete, you do right now. Oh, now you gotta. I forgot to say about his radio. He's, a, he's now a radio guy, and he's not even getting paid for it. Yep. So he's a triple bottom feeder. <laughs> he's working with uh, Frank Russo, right? He's got a call and show on uh, call and show. the weekends. Uh, it's on, I think, Friday night and Saturday. <laughs> Very good show. He's oh. good hosting. He doesn't cut people off. Which is great, you know. A lot yeah. of these guys, they if you're not on the topic they want to hear, they don't slice and you're off the air. And uh, you know, I've been on a couple of times, and basically what he does, if I don't, you know, get on with him, he'll call me and he'll say, "You want to go on? You ready?" I might be half asleep, but I'm listening to the show, mm -hmm. and I'm on. We talk about interesting topics, we talk about my uh, experience with as a stagehand, and about a lot about life, things that happen out on Staten Island mm -hmm. that I just wanted to, you know, happen to run in. Yeah. So, but what happened? Then, then he get you get you he get you get on the phone with him. He's got me that I when I. Cool. Yeah, but I'll tell you, 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 you could out talk anybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you could bottom feed and talk out anybody that asked. But you know what's good about it? No, but the thing is, even though you talk a lot, you've experienced a lot, and that's why you can't talk a lot. Yes, yes. But sometimes, mm. you know, like Jackie Gleason, when he gets the clock and yeah. he goes yes. to, uh, the, you know, when he goes to, um, um, or he goes, his, 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 his mom comes in and he goes, all right. I put the clock out. He puts the mm. clock out like this. You ever see that? That's yeah, a great episode. And he goes to his wife, goes, three, three, three. Puts <laughs> the thing down and she starts going off on Jackie Gleason. Yeah. And he kept, he, and then the clock, bang, the ring. He uh. hits the clock. He goes, all right, you're out. <laughs> Get out. He, he, he kicked the, he kicked the mom. Oh, my the, God. The mother out. Yeah, that's yeah, a great yeah. episode. I but know. getting back, yeah, but I'm, I'm just kidding, but, you oh, know. Yeah, no, 100%. You yeah. know. But on the radio, but, well, no, that's but, a compliment to me. I like that. I yeah. like speaking to people. Yeah, and but on the radio, that's, a, that's, mm -hmm. that's an art. That's an art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not. He usually has me come on when he's got somebody that's uh, calling the studio and uh, being a heckler or something. He puts me on, and one night he puts me on with this guy, and I said, you know what, you like popcorn, eating it in the dark in the movies. You know what happens, you eat in the dark, and instead of eating the popcorn, you hit the kernels, and they're like, oh, what am I going to do with the kernel, and you all of a sudden you break a tooth. I says, I think you just broke a tooth. Yeah. And the guy hangs up, and he's like, well, you know, flabbergasted, you know, yeah. it's like, uh, yeah. Well, hold on that note. We're going to go to... Uh, can we go to the Yankee, uh, Yankee song? This is a song I wrote for the Yankees. And um, Musto, the, the actor, he, he sent a, a letter out 
to the to the uh, organization. I will see if they, they. It's hard to get anybody to respond, but this would be a great song to get the you know. Mm -hmm. For the it really knocked everything out. It, you would know? Pump, it would pump the Yankees up. But anyway, mm -hmm. this is a song that I did video and stuff, and let's watch it now. If we can. Yeah, you go. Now that was a that was a believe it or not that song was a filling because I I was recording that whole month different songs and everything in the studio every other day and then one night my father's watching the, the game it, it was the um, championship the game World the Series. Yankees and no it wasn't the World Series it was the championship they were mm -hmm. playing the Yankees and my father was a big Mets fan and that night I I, I fell asleep yeah. I, when I fell asleep in the middle, I fell asleep like at the end of the game. They were losing pretty bad. But anyway, I'm dreaming and I'm uh, uh, about this, the game and everything. And that's how I wrote the song about the, you know the. Uh, it's about our ancestors till now. You know, mm -hmm. we never yeah. knew what was so exciting about the Yankees. Yeah. Now that we're a part of it, you know, and it's like it's a magical team. You know? Yeah. Like maybe it's maybe it would be, but I mean, it, it wasn't. No, but <laughs> it's because we live in New York. No, but it's not that. The, the New York was a very powerful. It's, it's still very powerful, but yeah, you know, I, know. I mean, we've had some bad times lately. But the Yankees uh, bring um, New York to another level because yeah. baseball became so big, and all the legends of baseball came through the Yankees. You know, That's Asu, true. DiMaggio. I mean, you can name that. I mean, I'm not great. Do you remember any names that? Oh, Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. 
Mm. I mean, so but that's what this song is about. It's about the legends of the Yankee. But the part in the beginning where I go, come on, let's do the Yankee wave. Every time I would go to a game, yeah. people would be waving. Wave. Mm -hmm. You know, or know. they'd say, come on, do the Yankee wave. So yeah. in my head, I'm saying, wow, I got to put that in. So I said, come on, everybody, let's do the Yankee wave. Now, if they hear that when they're at the stadium, the people are going to get up. When they hear that, and then the song plays and it's rocking out. And then, you know, you don't have to play the whole song. You don't have to get too excited. But, yeah. you know, you just play a little bit of it. No, I love it. play in the middle and the end and whatever, you know? I love it. I really like the the beat of it, like the in the beginning with the guitar, like the electric guitar or something. Yeah, it's yeah, like oh, rock, yeah. We, it's like know, a rock type of beat, and then it goes into, like, a pop. And yeah, I'm like, it's ah, funny. That guitar play that I, we got on there, I, I, I seen him at a club when it was with the... Yeah. Um, your, um, my godson. Your godson. Yeah, Frank, Frank did a great job on Frank it, too. Frank did a great job mm -hmm. singing it, you know. Yeah. And he's, he hasn't really done an original tour. You know, I always heard him do, everybody thought he was just an Elvis guy. This guy's an Elvis yeah. guy. You could sing Elvis, you know, strong and, and you know, and, and he pulled yeah. it off great. He did a great job in the studio. Was mm -hmm. it? You know? Yeah. So anyway, that's the Yankee song, everybody, and that was done. With creativity to, mm. uh, you know, what, what we do. Right? Yeah. And today's Wooly Mays' 90th birthday. Wow. And really? it's still in good oh, shape. Really? I saw him on the news. So Happy, Happy birthday, Wooly. Happy birthday, Wooly. Say Willie. hey, kid. Huh. Thanks for all the memories. And that catch you made was unbelievable. What was that catch, though? I think it was in the playoffs or something. Or the World Series. I think it might be the World Series. He yeah. did that basket catch where he caught it, like, just down on the ground. It was an amazing catch. Yeah. And he was facing the other way. The ball came over and landed in his glove like this, right against the wall, which yeah. is very hard to do, especially when you can't see the ball coming. Wow. Wow. So we're doing the show today after the COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after the love it? After the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. Well, it's over. Okay. We're it's still almost, in COVID, but well, you know what yeah, they said on they said on COVID, uh, the worst is over. Know, yeah, but they said you got more of a chance of getting uh, a virus now than the COVID. There's, there's more more cases of the virus than mm. you know. Oh, the flu. I'm saying. Oh, I more cases of the flu now than than COVID. Yeah, yeah. Which is you know, that's a good thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Oh, getting uh, before we go back to you, Pete, with the. So, um, when is the contest? When is it, uh, your magazine? I really, I, they haven't given us an end date. Um, I just know that the second round ends tonight. And then, uh, I'm assuming in a few more weeks, probably. What are they I trying? think it's like a month long. So, yeah. they yeah. like maybe, hopefully, like two more weeks or something. Well, what did they, what did they get? That's, that's what I hope. That's what I like to know. Just publicity. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess it's publicity. Is that a, is that a you know? Yeah, it's it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty big. So you know, even if I don't win, um, I'm getting further than a lot of other girls. So I'm just happy about that, and like a lot of people have been supporting me, which is really grateful. So, and it's just you know, it's get kind of getting my name out there a little bit. Even even if I don't win, you know, I'm still like. Yeah. I'm still kind of like promoting myself. Well, that's, and, like, that's, I'm on their page right now, too. So. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Listen, it's not about winning. Look at uh, Jordan. He didn't even get picked for the All Stars in, in, in high school. Yeah. The biggest, greatest ball play, basketball player yeah. of all time. Yeah, well, you just got to keep going, you know? Yeah. Little by little. No, but I mean, sometimes you take. Sometimes you grow with it, you know, with experience, you know, and, and you're going through a lot there. I mean, you've got a lot of experience from from doing um, doing the shows at CTV. Yeah, I can't believe it's already been like seven years. That's crazy. I mean, you 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 wouldn't have a, you you know been in front of the camera now doing what you're doing, bottom mm -hmm. feeding. Yeah, you're, I think this was one of the first shows I ever did. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm. I mean, you know, you got to start somewhere, right, Pete? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Look where you started. How did you get you? How did you get the job? In I tell you, it's a funny story. <laughs> I had a gas station I was working at, and mm -hmm. uh, oh, you were always in. working at a gas station. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. Drew, listen, did you ever tell you about the gas station you worked oh, at? Oh yeah. The, the guy was taking the money up with the with the with, with the, the magnet. With the magnet, yeah. That was bottom, That was the biggest spot of feet. <laughs> well, I was working at a gas station. Oh, this guy God. comes in to get work done. And he's watching me uh, with the ratchet. I'm taking the oil out. And he goes, you're good with that. You know, he says, you should come up at my job. So I, I didn't want to take a chance because I was making decent money. 
So a friend of mine came in, he was just going off unemployment. And uh, he, I said, why don't you go? He went, he called me up, he says, man, this is like, I put a glass of water out and I made $150, all so I did all day. And he worked at uh, Channel 11 with uh, Bill Jorgensen and Pat Harper. I mean, they're, they're some legends, they're back in the 70s. Yeah. So uh, when the guy came in to pick up his car, I said, you think you got room for me to go up there? He goes, sure. So I went up. Wow. He brings me to his brother, and his brother says, he looks at me, he goes, my brother sent another bum up here. Right? That's why I says, oh, God. So I ended up going to work with a guy on a night crew. And mm -hmm. these guys were mostly, there were a lot of firemen working, some cops, they were moonlighting, you know. And uh, it was like uh, there were a lot of convicts, that guys out of jail. You had no resume. Anybody could work up there as mm -hmm. long as you show up and you work. Yeah. So uh, I was working with this crew at night, and it was really scary because these guys were nuts. A lot of guys were Westies and cons. And uh, the boss, the, the guy's brother was a boss and he said, you, what are you working up here? Well, I go, well, you didn't want me down here. So they started splitting me up. He took me down. It was a loading platform. And the other guy had me working upstairs. Mm -hmm. But then there was this crew called the dress crew. And that was like they were unique because they would go around and dress the setup. Like if the door squeaked, you'd fix the door. Now the you were an SVU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I was up in the study. Yeah, and you yeah. yeah. basically sat around waiting for work to come. They'd say, yeah. oh, I don't like this door. Can you fix it? Or can right. you? And that's where I used to dress up the set. The biggest thing was to put a picture up straight, like you'd measure it. Because when you're watching the set, if you see a piece of crooked, and you would actually put tape behind it to keep it steady, because when they slammed the door. So that was what I was doing, and then I did lighting, I did sound, wow. I did everything. I, whatever, I was like a utility guy going to the different uh, parts. And then when you were telling me the story, when um, uh, the Blues Brothers, uh, Bellucci right. and Ackroyd, right? Yeah. They were getting ready to do their... their uh, uh, yeah, well, that was that This is great. You got to hear this. Was this is what it's really... When they did this... This is what it's really They had about. more time, to, and I guess a couple of the guests didn't show up, the musical guests. So, uh, Lauren Michaels told them, can you kill, like, six minutes? Can so they went up, they went wow. up, and they had... Uh, some really talented guys, horn guys and stuff, and they did the blue skit. And Bellucci come flying across the stage doing a cartwheel. He, for the size of him, because from all the drugs, he would come in weighing one day two something, the next day 180. He was like, it was and crazy. Did anybody wow. know he was going to do that? Like, uh, no, nobody knew. They just came on and they drove everybody nuts. I mean, we, we were laughing, we were loving it. The music was great. And uh, I give a lot of credit to Jim Bellucci because he did his own thing. When John died, he could have come stepped right in, but he didn't. He does his, he did his own comedy, uh, comedy and stuff. And I think maybe in ways he was almost su as successful as John. But he didn't, you know, jump into his grave. You know, he, mm -hmm. he respected his brother. Yeah. He loved him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sad yeah. though when I see that. that when, it, when, I, when he died, I was like, oh my God, that guy was... That guy was, uh, I don't know if you, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him a little bit. But we would really remember because it yeah. was more our era. Yeah, of course. And like when he died, it was like, wow, how could it be possible? He's the greatest. You know, he, he was just so far. Yeah. Well, I had to wait to see him on a movie or, or yeah, his movie was right. Animal House. And then he did another one, 1941, which was, people didn't understand it, but it was great. But in Animal House, I used to take the ladder and like, instead of, getting down and moving the ladder, I stick the, and jump on the ladder and go around for the lights, you know? Yeah. But downstairs, they were doing Sue Simmons and the news with Chuck Scarborough. So they were complaining, what's this banging? It was me with the ladder. So then I put cushions <laughs> under the ladder, and I said, jump around. And in the movie, wow. John did that. And he actually did with the ladder when that girl was changing and he was going around the windows, then he fell over. Yeah. But the funny part, the jello scene that he did, that was me up in the cafeteria. I'd get up, go in, and they'd call me, you got to come back down to the set. So I would get the jello without the spoon, and I'd, and I'd suck it up, you know? <laughs> so John did that in the movie. Wow. I was like, John, you're doing all this stuff. He goes, yeah, well, that's you. I, I learned it all from you, you slob. You know, and I laughed. I mean, wow, it was that's good. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying that Lauren Michaels didn't like his skit, though, right? When he did that, when he, when he did that... <sighs> Flips and everything. Did a lot of stuff. Laura Michaels. Nobody didn't like. You said he, he didn't like it. Oh know? no, the thing with the um, 
He was holding the suitcase and everything? Yeah, with the suitcase with the handcuff on it. He didn't really like that? He didn't like it, but everything there became so popular. So he put it, and then he... But he, that, that probably after the show... Oh, yeah, he learned to like it because it was yeah, successful. Right, right. Yeah. So he really doesn't... I think mean, a lot of these guys that, you know, run in these companies, they don't even know themselves if it's going to be successful. So of most of the stuff, they're not going to say, well... They have an idea, yeah, this is what's copyright and put this, or do this because this is, but then somebody comes out with something new and it becomes huge, like, yeah. you know what I mean? You could do something crazy and people say, oh, that, that. They, they go, wow, everybody likes it, you know? I'm really convinced that he, lately he's been pushing the button to see how much he could get away with. I think he's pretty much getting ready to be done with the show because... He's getting older now. He's actually 10 years older than me exactly, almost. Like, I'm 50, I'm 66, and he's going to be 76 now. So, you know, time is uh, of the essence for him. Yeah, he's got a lot of assistance and stuff doing it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't think he's got his heart like he had back yeah. in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you know, I mean, after a while, you know, any job could uh, get to you, right? He's doing pretty, pretty much but 50 years. I don't know yeah, how great, you can stop already. doing a job like that if you're making making big money and, and you know, unless it's really, uh, you know... You a lot of work goes into the show. Yeah. And the thing is, and it's very expensive. And yeah, he, but doesn't he have pee? He's paying oh, people yeah. to do but that. He'll change the set, like, at 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. You say, I want a new set. They'll come in wet. And, you know, the paint is wet on it, and they'll put it up, and... That so he decided to do that too. Oh, everything, everything. Wow. He, he he had no problem spending money mm -hmm. on the show. He would mm -hmm. put something new, scrap it, uh, amazing. And then he would do little cameos. You say thing. that he he makes uh, on one show like uh, like a, on a it's Saturday hard night. to tell. You know, I I know. Does it go like, by the ratings? It goes by. Well, ratings. he's got he's got the contract. You know, they pay him. Mm -hmm. Oh, they just pay him a contract. contract. Yeah. Oh. And they give him if the show goes over good. I'm sure there's incentive money for him. I don't know for a fact, but, you know, when you work down there, he puts a lot of hours in. So when you did that, now, you never did really uh, uh, play the drums. Even though you played drums, you didn't do a lot of gigs in your no, life. No, I didn't do any gigs. So you just, you know how many drummers would have loved <laughs> to be a, a backup Billy Idol? I mean, I, I oh, worked yeah, with Billy that Idol. Was on, I, I jammed with Billy Idol. You know, he did a show, and then we came on, me and my brothers came on, we did it, you know, we did our own thing. But, I mean, he was on the show with, but I'm saying to back him up, it must have been. I was very scared. I was, I was very nervous, and to me, it was like. That's crazy, yeah. Right? I didn't really want to do it, right? He's not even a real, you know, a professional, you know, professional drummer drum, you know. Wow. He played drums. Right. But he wasn't like, you know what I mean? And here he yeah. gets, gets a chance to. And live on SNL. Yeah. Well, I had garage bands, and I had some pretty fair people that weren't. You know, I'm not saying you were good. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. That. I didn't have my heart in it. I mean, but but yet you stumbled onto having to play yeah. because you were, you were at the right. I was just there at the right time. You at know, the right place at the right time. That happens a lot. Yeah. Right place at the right time. Yeah. I had a garage a band, and I had uh, I had a right place at the right time yeah. at the wrong time. I had a garage band, and, and the people, <laughs> the right we had a lot of famous people in there. We had Leslie West from uh, Mountain, and the original he was there without the band, and the original uh, Mississippi Queen. The way he did it, I call me. That good. Oh yeah. The way he did it was he said Mississippi Queen. You know what I mean? Okay, I was in the garage, and I said we're on show, Frank. <laughs> we just played. We just played the video. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Yeah, yeah you, we we did. We mentioned you. Um, it's you know, Frank James, guys. Song. It's Miranda. Hi. Here. It's he, Frank James on, and that's my nephew and godson. That's crazy. I, I never even knew that until What land? TV land. Oh, TV land. Okay. TV land. Yeah, you've been in hiatus a long time. Yeah. Well, you know what? You, you, you got to come out now and, um, you know, yeah. get back yeah. into the real world. It's, what are you going to do? We're, we all got swamp ratted, right? Even Miranda got bottom fed. Now she's a, she's doing a context, uh, contest for um, uh, Max. Maxim. Maxim, you know? Okay. Yeah, so, all right, so say hello to your audience and we'll, we'll, we'll get on with this. Okay, no? Yeah, we're on now. <laughs> We're live from studio. Everything's live. Everything's live. Yeah. You know, 
Yeah, so the rolling didn't work. See how, they, how things work? The rolling didn't work. So what are you going to do? But anyway, we played. We, this is what we, happens in shows. We showed, we showed the rolling before, you know. And yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Well, anyway, that was uh, Billy Joel's drama. Yeah. That we were going to see. And yeah. um, he, he, he told me the story about, you know, and, and that's why they're, they're like, they're not really, they're on the outs. Mm. Well, you know, you go through lawsuits and stuff like that. And, uh, well, at least he worked with him and, you know, he did a lot and he made his money and stuff. That was, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's great that yeah. he had that experience. That experience, and, yeah. you know, made the, made the money and did what he what he loved yeah. to do. So. Oh, yeah, and, he, and he's a great drummer. Yeah, I'm great sure. Drummer. Yeah. Playing for Billy... Billy Joel, Billy Joel, yeah, on yeah. His, you know, Glass album, and yeah, yeah, all the, all the, all the, what, the piano man, the piano man, yeah, mm -hmm. he's on all the biggies, but, um, That's great. yeah, so, oh, and they did it, actually, I got a picture of, um, on Facebook, they had a picture of all the stuff that we did on Facebook, yeah, yeah, you know? Fred got himself a little book. It's so cute. I got so a book cute. with a video. This, I um, love it. Miranda, when we did the video, we did, um, could you zoom in on that a little? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we did a video. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I can't believe this was like Speak seven video. years ago. That yeah. was like the first year I met you. Basically. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. But it was all on. And then, you know, oh, wow. We did the, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's so many pictures. It's so nice, like, to look through all of that. Yeah, look, you got the picture with so um, Musto Palinkovici on mm -hmm. Limitless. Yeah, he was Musto. at CBS. He was on our he's on our show a lot. CBS star. Yeah, I love Musto. Musto Palinkovici. Yeah. And you know, what, listen, what happened to him? Now you talk about what happened. Everything that possibly could go wrong in this business will go wrong. It, what happened? It, so you better just keep going forward. Yeah. Well, what happened with him is about a month ago. He calls me up, you know, that's why I came, you know, back in Florida and stuff. I was yeah. in Naples, Florida. Oh, if anybody wants to go to a cool um, area where they got a great sunset, Naples, Florida, if you catch that sun mm. sun going down, it's unbelievable. Wow, that's unbelievable. great. I, got, I don't know if it's a picture of it up in here, but yeah, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, with Musto, right? I was him. He finally gets a uh, sit another sitcom mm. um, on Blacklist. Wow, I love that show. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Blacklist. No, they, Blacklist. they want they want to use them. I like I love They want to use them in a lot of different um, things, scenes and stuff. That's great. But now they gotta re but I'll, I'll explain what happened. He called me up. He said, "Fred, he says I'm going to the city, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling that great. But I'm, when he went there, he had the COVID." They tested oh, them. They wow. test all the actors yeah, when you get before you go on. They have to test you. Yeah. Know. You know, with this with all this um, craziness that's going on. But anyway, so his he finally got on uh, another big uh, gig. This is a month or two ago, you said? A month ago. Um, well, I'd, I'd say about a month ago because mm. yeah. I'm just yeah, about a month ago. Mm. And um he said, Fred, they, they, they love me and, uh, you know, they wanted to put me on uh, two, two or three different um, scenes, episodes. Wow. And, um, yeah, so they had to they had cancel his um, thing. And he says, don't worry about it. When you come back, you know, we'll find... No, so now you got to find a role, you know, you got to find the role. Well, at least they, they still want him to come Yeah, back. They, they, they like I him a lot. I love that show. Yeah, well, Musso's a great, he's a great... Um, yeah, they were just filming on Staten Island um, recently. But this was like a week or two ago, they were on Staten Island. Who? Blacklist. Oh, Blacklist, yeah. Yeah, they were filming on Staten Island. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Musso was brilliant, you know, when we did no, that pool good. show. Yeah, he's a good actor. When we did that pool show and he said, you know, they could print money and everybody could be billionaires. But the only thing is we'll die. And I says, I'm listening. And he says, because there'll be nobody to do the crops. There'll be nobody to deliver the food. There'll be nobody because everybody's rich. They're not yeah, going to work. Course. So, I mean, the most brilliant thing that anybody could ever say is yeah. that's true. And now with the unemployment, with the bonuses, people don't want to go back to work. If any kid tells me I can't find a job today, I'll tell them you're full of it because yeah. everybody's got signs of it. They want to hire people. The mm -hmm. problem is now they've been, been off for a year 
and they're getting they're getting money from the government. Exactly. And they're getting more than they actually were making. Stimulus. Why should we go back to work? Yeah. Why not make six hundred dollars when you can make eight hundred staying home? Yeah, and that's the problem right now. That's yeah. The, did they, they did they pay you more money for with being out of work? Um, yeah, I mean, I got a little bit from unemployment, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, oh, but you were, you were working steady with, uh, you were working steady? No, I was, I right, was part-time with a Barclay Center, yeah. They just Barclay reopened, Center. like, I think it was, yeah, two months ago now or something. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't, I haven't gone back yet. We'll see. I, I don't, I mean, I love that place, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to focus on this stuff right now, so. Yeah. So you, you, you got to check uh, Miranda. Any, uh, I know everybody's on Facebook out there. That guy, Miranda, Miranda Tiffany Panda? Yeah, Miranda Panda, Miranda Tiffany, either one. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda Tiffany Panda, either yeah, one. Tiffany, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then click on, what do you just click on, right? Click on the, yeah. the link. Yeah, and I've been posting it like every day, so if you guys have me on there, you'll see it. Oh, there's a lot of people. That yeah, are on. a bunch of my other stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough though. You don't know if they, you know, somebody could come on and put uh, false clicks too. Yeah, right. If you nah, no, it's like it's I said, it, it, yeah. If you well, people could put money on it. That's that's how they could like not cheat, but that's how they could get ahead. If you have somebody that puts like a ton of money, you know, in in the voting thing um, to donate to wounded warriors, uh, you could get ahead like that with the yeah, votes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have money, you know. That's what everything these days, right? Like, <laughs> you have money, you can do, like, anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and connections, money well, and connections. No, well, you know what? I know a lot of people that had money during the COVID. They couldn't do They did less than we did. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, something like that you must did, really humble a lot of travel, people. You travel, you couldn't, you know. Because it just stopped everything. You so no matter like, how much money you have, it still kind of, like, stopped yeah. you. Well, that's, it, it's, it tracks. puts you in, uh, in life that... Money isn't everything. Yeah, see, exactly. It humbles a lot through. of people, yeah. I mean, you I know, it, listen, it helps to have money coming in. and, and Yeah, but, it does help, yeah. But it's not it's not everything, right, Pete? Right. No, yeah. I mean, a lot of people who had money lost family members and stuff. So uh, it's like, uh, that's not going to bring your family members back just because you have money. The people, the, the friends that I lost during the year, family, forget about it. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, but, I know. You know, everybody's going through it. What, what are we going to do? That's why, you know, we're getting back, we're doing the shows, and, you, and, you know, life goes on. you got to just, you know, yep. do, the best, do the best thing you can do, right? Universal. Oh, yeah. Thing. It keeps everybody going. And yeah, yeah. comedy and music. Comedy, yeah. You can relate to people. You can talk to people. Well, they're going to bring English and they know the music. They're yeah. going to bring back Broadway, but now they're going to bring it back. Well, I don't know why they're bringing it back now. They say in September. Maybe they got to practice and everything there. It takes a lot to get it going because yeah. Yeah. Also, they're waiting. Yeah. They're slowly, like, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's slow enough, if it's fast enough, but they're slowly ish trying to open up. They're not trying to just, like, do it right away, you know? Well, all yeah. the rigging and stuff, all the ropes so, and stuff that they got to pull. they got to be doing more because sitting dormant for a year, the rope breaks. That's true, too, yeah. So, it's going to be... I want to ask you, what, at all of the, the... How many years did you work for? Well, like, Saturday Night Live? 20, 25. 25 years? Okay. Who... Who inspired you the most that you were there that you've seen, like actors or... Oh, Robert Williams. Oh, Robert Williams? Robert Williams. Williams and... Milton uh, Burrow, he was on a show, he came Milton on. Burrow, yeah. I actually was, one day, Milton Burrow, George Burns, and Robert Williams were standing in the corner, and they were talking, and Robert Williams walked away, and they said, this is the most talented guy. Now, Milton Burrow was known for not giving out compliments to anybody but himself. I mean, mm -hmm. he was a great comedian. I mean, he was the first guy yeah. to cross-dressed. I mean, wow, you know, yeah. so it was... Uh, um, really, they paid a lot of tribute to him. How he, of course. A lot of people don't know what he uh, did. We want to thank uh, Pete DiMaffetta right. for uh, coming on. Thank you. It was a pleasure time. being here. Miranda, my co-host, I um, wish her a lot of luck for the for the magazine. And But she's going to be, a, you're going to be thank doing movies and everything, right? I, I hope so. Yeah. That's, where I'm, that's what I'm working towards right now. i got yeah. a bunch of stuff going on, so. Yeah, you can't quit. you got to keep going. Yeah. There's nothing, you know. Yeah. You're only, as, you're only as good as your last gig. That's right. Though. That is true, actually. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? I was on stage with Chuck Berry with 10,000 people, and the next day I was at the Lancaster Lounge. 
you get it to 20 people. <laughs> that's that's what the doctor's saying. Man. You, just want, you, you just want the truth, that's the truth of this business. Yep. You've got to take the good and the bad, and yep. you've got to improve your art and try to make yourself as best you can and, and improve, you know, you can... Prove your pictures, prove your sound, prove... Never give up. Yeah. You could accomplish Never anything if you're willing to hurt. Are we almost, almost done? Yeah, a minute and a half. Rolling? A minute and a half? Okay, yeah, yeah. so that's it. And so, you know, we're we going to do the Coney Island thing. You're going to be on... When are you going to be on the radio? On Come Frank? here probably this weekend. I'll see. Frank Russo, right? Frank what Russo. channel is he on? That's on 77 WABC. Mm. And it's on from... Uh, one to seven, or no, one to six. One to and six. on uh, Saturday, it's on from 12 to six. Yeah. In the morning? In the morning. It's through the night. It's through the night. Oh, yeah. through the night. Okay. Night. Did you, That's uh, awesome. Did you uh, have that horse, uh, Medina Spirit? No, no right? I didn't. You feel, did you watch the, you, you watch the derby? Mm -mm. <laughs> you, you really. What the heck were you doing, man? <laughs> You didn't Maybe watch the Derby? Maybe I'll buy the most horses. exciting race of all time? <laughs> Alice, I'm going to send you to the moon. I didn't bet on it. So well, anyway, Brian picked it. Medina Spirit. Ah, it's nice. Brian, what do you like? Medina Spirit. Nice. You know, like the Jackie Blaze. I said, I said I, when it came out, I said, wait a minute. Who said Medina Spirit? Brian? It's a beautiful. And guess what? You don't bet. That was Rossi and Jackie Gus, I mean, like, uh, Rossi on the boxer. We'll the see boxer you next time, guys. It hits me like that. All right, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye. What do you like, TV? We love you out there. Stay well and fight. Everybody, stay safe. I don't know why. Can you drive me at 730?